The Lockheed Two-Step and Lockheed Trinity parlays have been absolutely hitting for us this year, and I'm very happy about that. And shout out to all the people who have been hopping on the Patreon page just to get it earlier, as I normally drop them on Mondays, but then the public gets them for free on uh, with this segment um, on Fridays. Uh, so I do appreciate all the support that's been hopping on the Patreon strictly for that. Last time around, it did come through for us with Melissa Gato and Adrian Yanez coming through with relative ease. And then the Lockheed Trinity was completed with Angela Hill as she goes out there and uh, gets that finish over Luana Pinheiro to cash the Lockheed Trinity as well. I do have another Lucky Two Step and Lucky Trinity for you guys. I do want to remind you that on Sunday I will be dropping an Ultimate Fighter 32 season uh, preview slash primer where I break down uh, all eight fighters from each division that are on that show and what you guys can expect from it. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out on Sunday. All right, let's get right into it. First step up that I got for the Lucky Two Step is going to be the chalkiest. Grant Dawson, I think he comes through in this spot very easily against a guy in Joe Selecki that doesn't provide much knockout threat, and even his jiu-jitsu is not that great. That's going to stand up to what Grant Dawson is going to be able to do to him. Of course, Selecki, solid BJJ black belt, but in comparison to what Grant Dawson is going to be able to do here, I don't think he'll be able to catch him in anything. I think Dawson is the better wrestler, so he should be able to secure a top position, and then from there, he should be a step ahead in terms of any of the scrambles that Selecki might try to implement, but from what I've seen on most of the Selecki tape, he kind of just accepts being on his back and it's not really a good look. And I think that we'll see uh, Dawson take full advantage of that and hit this leg very, very easily for us, which is why Grant Dawson is the first step in the Lockheed two-step. The second step is going to be Alex Morono as he rematches Nico Price in a matchup where he actually got knocked out by him seven years ago. However, Tides have pretty much turned for both guys, and Morono was actually winning the vast majority of that original matchup, and now I think he goes out there and actually completes it this time around, rather than having that little brain fart that he had, um, you know, just spending a little bit too long on the cage there at the end of that second round that allowed Nico Price to land that big shot. Look for Morono to utilize that awkward movement of his and really find that big shot against uh, Price here. He hurt him badly plenty of times in the first round in their first matchup, and I expect him to close the show this time around. So give me Alex Morono to complete the Lockheed two-step. Now, earlier this week when I dropped it to the Patreon folks, we were able to get minus 125. Absolutely really good number, especially considering the two guys that I got here. And especially considering the line movement that we've been seeing towards them throughout fight week. So on Friday now, you guys are getting minus 148. Again, the benefit of hopping on the Lock of the Night Patreon page to get a much better price tag. So you get a little bit more bang for your buck when you do place this Lockheed two-step uh, parlay on a weekly basis. Now to complete the Lockheed Trinity, we're going to go with a little bit of a riskier bet, but I do think it's a damn good spot this week. And as a guy who started off as the underdog this week and now finds himself as a slate favorite, Cesar Almeida as he takes on Roman Kopilov in a fight that should surely be a striker's delight. But I do think that Cesar Almeida is the superior superior striker here i do think he has the better gas tank as well so i do think that we'll see this competitive in the early going and unless kopilov is able to knock out almeida within the first four to five minutes of this matchup i do think that we'll see almeida take command of this fight especially in the second and third rounds where i believe a knockout opportunity will present itself and he'll take full advantage of that so give me cesar almeida to complete the Lockheed trinity which again earlier this week a beautiful plus 252 line but now it sits down at plus 202 come friday of fight week there you guys go lucky two-step lucky trinity hopefully you guys join me later on today as well as i drop three three best prop bets for ufc 302 haven't been doing the greatest with the prop bets but i'm honing in on a couple here that i feel should come through for us let's see how they do see you guys then peace